Now, ironically, um, many of the exciting things that have happened in machine learning in the last few years are uh, based on deep learning, which is definitely inspired by brains. It's, in fact, a rebranding of an old idea called neural networks uh, from the 1970s, um, which is what got me in excited about getting into the field in the mid-1980s. So what are neural networks? Well, neural networks are basically tunable uh, nonlinear functions with many parameters. If you're a statistician, the, they map from some inputs to some outputs with layers of neurons. Um, it's called deep learning because you have many different layers, so there's... There's nothing deep about that. It's just many layers. Um, the weights uh, connecting the neurons are tunable, and they're tuned to reduce errors on training data. Now, they're amazing, and much of the revolution has happened because of deep learning. But again, anybody who's in the field understands that there are limitations of deep learning. They're very data hungry, compute intensive, poor at representing uncertainty, which really bothers me, actually. Um, they're uninterpretable black boxes, lacking in transparency, difficult to trust, and easily fooled by adversarial examples, like this one, famously, where the neural net is pretty good at telling a school bus from a dog, but then you add a little bit of pixel noise in a very particular way, and it confidently gets it wrong. It classifies both those images as ostrich. That's a problem. We can't base our technology on just that. So um, we really need machine learning systems that know when they don't know. And one way of achieving that, and this is an area that I've worked on a long time, is probabilistic machine learning. It helps us better understand the concept of learning and overcome some of the limitations. So probabilistic machine learning goes back to the mathematics of Reverend Thomas Bayes, an 18th century English uh, nonconformist minister. And he came up with Bayes' rule, which is written like this. It's kind of boring to look at like this. But I'm going to rewrite it like this so that you can kind of um, think about it more easily. So Bayes' rule tells us how to update our beliefs about hypotheses in light of data. And it tells us that the probability of a particular hypothesis given the data is the prior probability of the hypothesis before observing the data multiplied by the probability that that hypothesis gives to uh, the data. And then it's renormalized, summing over all the hypotheses we're willing to consider. Now, um, Bayes' rule is also the basis of understanding learning. So the process of going from your prior knowledge before observing the data to your posterior knowledge after observing data is exactly learning. And what you gain from that is information. Um, now, just to be clear, when I use the terms hypotheses and data, it's incredibly general. Hypothesis is anything that you're uncertain about, anything you don't know. Data is anything that's measured any measured quantity or any sense quantity. And then um, when I'm talking about probabilities, probabilities are meant to encode beliefs of the system. So it's so powerful that you, know, you can write down the foundations of all probabilistic machine learning on one slide, which looks like this. And it starts from two simple rules, including Bayes' rule. So how does it work? Well, if you um, take the optimization view of machine learning, you have, uh, you know, say, the red and the blue data set, and you want, want to classify them. Um, in traditional machine learning, you optimize a classifier that separates the red and the blue, shown on the left. In Bayesian machine learning, you simply, you know, you're forced by the rules to consider all possible um, classifiers consistent with the data. So uh, that whole cloud of possible classifiers. And when you average over that, which what is what probabilistic machine learning tells you what to do, you get better uncertainty estimates. So there's no magic. You're just accounting for your uncertainty to get better uncertainty estimates. And in fact, this has become a very hot topic in machine learning. You can marry the ideas of Bayesian methods with deep learning to get Bayesian deep learning. We had a couple of very successful workshops at NIPS uh, in the last couple of years on this topic.